so like Jen said, today is December 12th, 1212 at 12 p.m. Pacific time. Yeah, thank you for sending how you're feeling, Carrie. Yeah, I know to, uh, this has been quite an overwhelming time. Glad you're feeling grounded, Rebecca. Um, so hopefully you all read the description, but I'll go over what you know we're going to be tapping into today, which is um, tapping into your Merkaba force field. And so Merkaba is actually originally three words that came from Egypt. So Mer means spirit, Ka means light, and um, Ba means physical body. So it literally translates into your spirit light body. And what this is essentially is another form of aligning with your chakras. And in a more grounded sense, when you activate your Merkaba force field, it basically just brings you back into you feeling like yourself, most grounded and centered. And from that place, then you can go from returning back to center to then taking it past that point and using this energy to consciously manifest and choose what it is that you want to create, where it is in your life that you're wanting to go. Mm, yes, we're exhausted and wistful. I love that feeling wistful. Um, yeah, and then also the energy that today brings is coming into this place where you know that you are this beautiful being who can do all this work on your own, but you are also ready, just like Karen said, open and ready to call in the help that you need, to call in the community that can support you to become the person that you're wanting to become. And so part of what we're doing today with this energy is consciously calling in the team, your tribe, your community, however you wanna call it, that is here for you to um, help you rise and stay lifted so that when you inevitably will go through the cycles of life and fall out of this place again, that your team is there to pick you up as well, that it's not just you who has to remind yourself of who you are. So is this anybody's first sound healing? I'm curious today, let me know. We have, so far we have 28. 29 people joining from all over the world. We actually had over 70 people sign up today, which is incredible. Um, so thank you all for coming. Um, this is an offering from my heart, from myself and the human beauty movement, and we're so excited to give it. Yeah, you've done Reiki sound healing, first sound healing. So what I love to tell people about sound healings is that, you know, it's similar to a yoga class. In yoga, we move our bodies, we open up our flow, we're stretching, we're opening up the blood vessels in our body so that we can get to what's actually the most important at the very end of the class, which is Shavasana, when we're laying down for three minutes or more and just there. And what happens in that space is that your brain stops thinking finally for the first time and who knows how long. And the reason that you were able to get there is because you got all of this other energy out and you cleaned your body and scrubbed it of all those other distractions and tensions. And so sound healing, sound bath does the exact same thing. And we call it a bath because these instruments, you can't see them all, they're hidden, but here's one of them is one of my sound bowls. Um, if you've ever seen when you're playing water near an inch or sorry you're playing an instrument near water and you see the water vibrating and it starts to create these different shapes these different geometries well our bodies are made up of 70 percent water and when you are being affected by the vibrations of these instruments even through your headphones even through the speaker the water in your body is changing shape it's remembering what these pure tone frequencies sound like that are more aligned for you to live centered to live grounded to live wistful and um yeah so i share that and then i also want to share make sure that you know you have all of your distractions put away make sure you put your phone on do not disturb and then i also invite you to know that there will be other sounds that you hear today you might hear a helicopter fly by. Maybe I have to cough or, you know, sneeze and as, as a human does. And you'll also hear 
you know, those are sounds that happen outside of you. You'll also hear the sound of your thoughts that move by in your brain. And what I invite you to notice is that whether there are sounds inside of you or outside of you, whether there are sounds that are planned or unplanned, they all just simply are one part of a soundscape for you to listen to. And this is your invitation and your opportunity to melt into this space, to ground into your body, to go within, to know that there is nothing to do, nothing to think about, but simply being present with your own life force energy at this time. So I think we're feeling ready. Go ahead and get comfortable to where you are laying down. If you want blankets, get blankets. If you'd like to cover your eyes, go ahead and cover your eyes as well. And let's see. Okay. And friends, as you are joining in, we are going to go ahead and get started. So yes, friends who just got here, please go ahead and lay down, put your mask on, and we will be getting started with our meditation. So go ahead and close your eyes. So place your hands where they feel comfortable, whether that is on your body or down by your sides with your palms up. And with your eyes closed, let's take a deep breath in through your belly, fill up through your chest, bring it all the way up into your throat. Biggest exhale you've, exhale you've taken all day, let it go. Big cleansing breath in. And big cleansing breath out. Biggest breath in. And deepest breath out. Letting your breath return to its own pace, knowing that your breath will do and support you as it knows how. And starting from the top of your head, I want you to Envision a little corkscrew like the bottom of a bathtub for the drain that you open. And when it opens, this pure white light starts to flow in through the top of your head, funneling down like it's going down the drain of the bathtub. Allow this funnel to open wider as it lowers down into your brain through your third eye center, through your pineal gland of your brain. And let this light now pour through your skull, through the back of your throat, down through your throat of your Visuddha throat chakra, filling up with this bright white light, letting it feel like a waterfall, moving down through your windpipe and into your heart cavity through the central column of your heart, filled up with this pure white light. spilling down between your ribs into your solar plexus, Manipura Chakra, opening up 
Feel your whole body relaxing. Let go and surrender as the light pours down into your sacral chakra where your womb or energetic womb, whether or not you have one, whether or not you are male or female lives. And let this light pour down into your root, into the base of your spine, into your pelvis. this light pour down your legs and flow all the way out of the base of your feet. I'm feeling now that the tap of the waters of your life force energy are beginning to open more. from the top of your head as it falls down there is an endless supply of this light spilling down spilling down spilling down allow your hands and your feet to feel open feel this energy this lightness falling out of your hands just as easily as even more comes into the crown of your head, moves down through your head, through your heart. Down through your belly, your pelvis, and your legs. Focus your energy in the light that is flowing through your heart chakra. Simply noticing and observing. We'll take a deep breath in, and this is going to be a breath all the way up through the belly, up into the diaphragm, into the chest, and we'll hold up at the top for a moment. And when I invite you to exhale, I ask you to fully exhale with all of your strength to push all of the air out of your body and send out this life force energy even stronger. So breathe into your belly, pull up into your diaphragm and up into your heart space. Feel into the light within your heart. Allow it to grow and begin to expand the size of your chest. Think of the ones that you love most. Envision them in your mind, envision them in your heart. Take three more tiny sips in. Filling up, filling up with all of the love that you can send them, with all of the life force energy and unconditional love you can send them. And with your breath out, expand out this light and send out this love to your loved ones. Holding it out. In order for us to call in our team, all we have to do is recognize who it is that we love. Next breath in, pull your breath into your belly, all the way up through your diaphragm, up into your heart space, expanding your heart, feeling this life force energy surrounding your chest now, even surrounding your body, filling up, hold your breath in.
sending all the love that you have to your community to the people in your community hold your breath in sip in even more love breath in and big exhale send out your love to the people in your community to the people you know to the people you've had conflict with to the people you wish to forgive to the people you don't know another breath into your belly filling up through your chest into your heart feeling that your heart is expanded all the way around to the size of your room now we want to grow it even bigger holding in your breath I want you to pull in all the love that you have for yourself that you wish to give to yourself breathing that in inhale holding in breath in expanding your heart Pulling in more life force energy to support you as you expand your love for yourself. Exhale, grow that exponentially larger <sighs> around the size of your home. And another breath in, pull your breath in forcefully all the way up into your heart. Feeling the magnetism of this force field, how large it has grown knowing that we can grow it even bigger as you call in the love that you have for all beings everywhere, for all of life, for Mother Earth, for all that exists, for all that you live within and experience. Pull in your breath. Hold it in. Pull this energy. Feel it into your heart. Feel this physical power in your heart. Breath in. Big breath out. Just expanding your field. Out beyond the oceans. Up into the atmosphere. out beyond the earth, past the moon, feel the energy, the velocity that your force field is expanding with, fueled by the power of love. as you expand, you can even still feel this light spinning down through your crown, down through your body, out through your feet, pouring into your heart, expanding through your heart, expanding your field, knowing that no matter how far you travel, no matter where you go, you're never further away from your heartbeat than the thought of it. and the feeling of this light in your chest. And so allowing yourself to test the limits of your love, of your love for others, love for yourself, love to the world, love to the universe. Love within, love without. Love behind you. Love within you, love supporting you. There is no right or wrong way to be when you are in love. When you are love. Anytime you get lost, anytime you need guidance, come back.
back to this force field of love.
feel the edges of this light force field of your spirit light body feeling how far and wide how expansive compassionate and true you have grown Padme Hum means the jewel is in the lotus, meaning you, your spirit, your heart, the space in which you reside, that beautiful celebratory blossoming space that opens on the surface, the lotus flower. It travels a long way from its roots down in the mud of the water. It is both the jewel and the lotus, and it is the roots all the way down connected there. And so I want you to feel these edges of how far you've traveled and expanded. And I want you now to feel once again the jewel and the lotus, your heart in the center of it all, the creator of this energy the conductor the one who sees the one who feels all feel all of this into the center of your heart chakra in your chest feel your heart beating feel how strong and undeniable the life force is flowing through you Feeling the love that you sent to yourself, that you sent to your loved ones, to your community, to all beings. From this space in your heart, calling out to any support that you may need in this time. To stay centered in your heart. From this place of love. Maybe you don't even know who they are but you know how they can help you and how they can support you. Call them in. Invite them in, back into your heart. You've sent all this energy out, and now you can invite yourself to receive. And then calling in who you see yourself as, who can best support you, who can best love you, Calling in your community, calling in your closest loved ones. Feeling all of your life force energy now coming back into your heart, drawing in and condensing for all of this energy to now live in your heart space. For you have called in what you are worth, what you know, what is the value of love in your heart. It lives right there. And this will come to you in your life. Begin to deepen your breath. Big breath in. Big breath out. Another breath in. Big exhale, <sighs> maybe a sound out, a third breath in, this time reaching your arms up overhead, exhale, pulling your hands into a prayer over your head, pull your hands down to your heart center, down to your spirit light body's anchoring point. you seek in the world and all that you desire you have the power to magnetize towards you 
with your purest intentions of your heart. So bowing to your heart. Loka somasta sukhi no bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. And my heart truly sees the divine within yours. And together we say namaste. Take your time to open your eyes, to move your body, to take deep breaths, and drink water. And come back to the screen when you are ready. So, if you're feeling able to type into the chat how you're feeling, please let me know how you're feeling, how this impacted you, what it felt like to feel your spirit life body which is your Merkaba open up and then to also call back in so to open to the universe and then to receive from the universe yeah thank you to the human beauty movement for being my incredible partner in helping me host these events this is our last event of 2022 before we move into 2023 and yeah if you are feeling connected and centered into your heart and you're feeling the call to continue working on this to continue to call in what you consciously want to raise yourself back up into the level you know you're meant to be in and to move beyond that to create the life that you want i invite you to join my network on um, mighty networks it's called skylar temple singer uh, Jen put the link up there as well as the link to follow Human Beauty Movement. My, my group is called Skylar Temple Singer, completely free to join. I have a library of other meditations that are up there already that I would love for you to view. And also when you join my Mighty Networks and you send me a private message, you can get 15% off one of my um, private sessions with me, which would be a sound healing or a yoga session if you are interested. And yeah so please stay tuned for what's coming in 2023 much more of this and i will invite jen back on just to give a little closing yeah thank you all so much if you have questions yeah please send them to me in the mighty networks um and i will respond to your message there and we can be connected i would love to support you in your journey thank you all. Oh, Thank you so, so very much for that healing magic. I want to thank everybody for joining us today. And as Skylar mentioned at the beginning with the Merkaba Code, you are not alone. You have community. You have a team here with you. We are your support. So if you enjoyed the session, please let everyone know. We're a new community hoping to touch as many people with the beauty of love and light as possible. And we thrive by word of mouth. So please go to our Eventbrite page. I put the link there in the chat. Rate us and review us. Let us know how this went for you. Please also do join our community. We really encourage you to get the most out of it. We're here for your support and your journey. So with that, I wish you all a very blessed week.